Lesson 10.4, Classify Quadrilaterals. You should take notes because we have a lot of information and it would help if you saw 10.1 and 10.3 that are linked in the description. A polygon is a closed two-dimensional shape formed by three or more straight sides that are line segments. A quadrilateral is any polygon with four sides and four angles. We can name a quadrilateral by the vertices of its angles with capital letters. And if we put a little parallelogram like this, kind of slanting off to the side in front of the vertice capital letters, we can read this as quadrilateral A, B, C, D, and this is geometric notation for writing quadrilateral A, B, C, D. And the way we read the letters and write them is clockwise or counterclockwise in order. We can't skip across. We have to go in order A, B, C, D. We could even start with B and go B, C, D, A, as long as we keep going the same direction. We can also go the other direction as long as it's in order A, D, C, B, D, C, B, A, but we have to continue in that direction we started going in. If you see a figure that has these little tick marks on it, these tick marks on line segments show they have the same length. This has one tick mark and this has one tick mark, so these have the same length. These have two, so these two line segments are the same length. So PS, this line segment right here, and QR have the same length and they have one tick mark. And line segment PQ and line segment SR have the same length. They have two tick marks. And the tick marks show us the sides that are equivalent. Now this is the part of the video that you really should take notes because we have a lot of information. This is a trapezoid. It has one pair of parallel sides. Like a pair of socks has two socks. So this side and this side, they are parallel to each other. It's got two acute angles. Remember, acute angles are less than a right angle. It's less than a square corner. We have two obtuse angles. And remember, obtuse angles are greater than a square corner. They're greater than a right angle. A parallelogram Look, it has these sides as parallel and then these sides as parallel. So it's got one pair, two pairs of parallel sides. And it's got two pairs of sides of equal length. This side is the same length as this one and this side is the same length as this one. We can see from the tick marks which sides match. And a rhombus, rectangle, and square are considered parallelograms. And we'll talk about that more in a minute. A rhombus has two pairs of parallel sides, just like the parallelogram. That's why a rhombus is a parallelogram, but it has four sides of equal length. So see how they all have one tick mark? Because all the sides are the same length. A rectangle also has two pairs of parallel sides, and it has two pairs of sides of equal length. This side has one tick mark, and so does this one. They have the same length. And this side has two tick marks, and so does this one. They have the same length. It's also got four right angles. It's got four square corners. And a rectangle is a parallelogram because it has two pairs of parallel sides and two pairs of sides of equal length. This pair is the same length, and that pair is the same length. And it's also considered a trapezoid because it's got at least one pair of parallel sides. See that? A square has two pairs of parallel sides and four sides of equal length, just like the rhombus does, except it's got square corners like the rectangle. It's got four right angles and a square is considered a parallelogram. It's got two pairs of parallel sides. And it's also a trapezoid because it's got at least one pair of parallel sides 
It's also a rhombus because it's got two pairs of parallel sides and four sides of equal length. And it's also considered a rectangle because it's got two pairs of parallel sides, two pairs of sides of equal length, and four right angles. A kite, it has no parallel sides, and it has two pairs of sides of equal length. This side is the same length as this one, and this side is the same length as this one, but it doesn't have any parallel lines at all. So it's not a parallelogram, is it? It's just a quadrilateral. It's a polygon with four sides and four angles. Rectangles and squares are the only quadrilaterals with right angles inside. A little box in an angle tells us it's a right angle, remember? If we break apart the word quadrilateral, this is the Latin prefix meaning four. Quadra means four as a Latin prefix, and the word lateral means side or on the side of, and it's a noun. So quadra, four lateral sides, quadrilateral tells us it's got four sides. And quadru, ped, ped is for feet, that means he has four feet. A quadruped is an animal with four feet. A quadrilateral is any polygon with four sides and four angles. So this is a quadrilateral. It has four sides, one, two, three, four, and it has four angles, one, two, three, four, and these are quadrilaterals. These are all quadrilaterals. They all have four sides and four angles. Now, all parallelograms have two pairs of parallel sides. So which of these quadrilaterals are parallelograms? Well, we can take away the ones we know right away that do not have parallel sides. And I know this arrowhead looking one does not have any parallel sides, so we can get rid of that one out of the group. We'll move it off to the side. Now remember, it's gotta have two pairs of parallel sides. I don't see any parallel lines in this one, do you? And I don't see any parallel lines in this one either, so we can move these two off to the side. For this trapezoid, I see this is parallel to this one, it appears to be, but look, these two sides are not parallel, and it's gotta have two pairs of parallel sides. It's only got one pair, so that is not a parallelogram either. What about this shape? This side appears to be parallel to this side, and when you look at this side and the top here, they're not parallel. So that is not a parallelogram. We can move it to the side also. Now we have fewer to choose from and we can look at them carefully. This rectangle, this side is parallel to this side, and this side is parallel to this side, so that is a parallelogram. We can move it down here. The square has the top and the bottom parallel, and this side and this side parallel, so that is a parallelogram. We can move it down also. This rhombus has the top and bottom parallel, and this side and this side parallel. That makes two pairs of parallel sides, so that is a parallelogram and we can move it down also. And look at this one. The top and the bottom are parallel, and look, this side and this side is, seem to be parallel also, so that is a parallelogram. That means these quadrilaterals are not parallelograms. Let's take a closer look at them. They have four sides and four angles, so they are quadrilaterals, but they don't have two pairs of parallel sides. So do you see how the trapezoid is up in this group? It's not a parallelogram. A rectangle has two pairs of parallel sides, two pairs of sides of equal length, and four right angles. A square has two pairs of parallel sides, four sides of equal length, and four right angles. 
The rectangle is a parallelogram, a trapezoid, and a rectangle. And this square, it's a trapezoid, parallelogram, rhombus, rectangle, and square. A square is a rectangle because to be a rectangle, it has to have two pairs of parallel sides. It does. It needs two pairs of sides of equal length. This pair is equal and that pair is equal. And it needs to have four right angles. It does. One, two, three, four. So a square is a rectangle. And it's also a rhombus, parallelogram, and trapezoid. We need to classify each shape by putting it into its correct column. And each column will have one shape. So let's read what the columns say first. This one says only a quadrilateral. Hmm. This one says a quadrilateral and a trapezoid. This one says quadrilateral, trapezoid, and a parallelogram. And this one says quadrilateral, trapezoid, parallelogram, rhombus, rectangle, and a square. So the only one here that can fit the definition of a square is this square right here. So we know this square goes over here. To be a square, it has to have two pairs of parallel sides and four sides of equal length and four right angles. It's the only shape that would fit here. Now look, this one says quadrilateral and a trapezoid. This one says quadrilateral, trapezoid, and a parallelogram. And do you remember? Is a trapezoid a parallelogram? Does it have two pairs of parallel sides? It's got a pair here, but it doesn't have a pair of parallel sides here. So it's not a parallelogram. So it can't go here. And is this a parallelogram? It doesn't have any parallel sides. So this up here, this parallelogram goes here. Now we only have these two shapes left. And it says this one's a quadrilateral and a trapezoid. Is that a trapezoid? No. A trapezoid has one pair of parallel sides. That's the trapezoid. So we can put it there. That means we have this arrowhead looking one. It's only a quadrilateral. It has four sides and four angles. So we learned a polygon is a closed two-dimensional shape formed by three or more straight sides that are line segments. A dimension is a measurement of length, width, or height. And a two-dimensional figure, that's two, and then a D for dimensional, that's 2D, has two of these measures, length and width. This rectangle is two inches long and one inch wide. A three-dimensional figure, that would be 3D, has all three measures, length, width, and height. So here's a 3D cube. I don't know if you can see it that well. If I turn the camera a little bit, you can see how it's sticking out from my dry erase board. And look, you can also see its shadow from my window over here. If we shine a light on the side of a 3D figure, it will make a shadow. Now, I made these charts and they're available on my Joanne School Facebook page in the image section. And you can see the link to the Facebook page in the video's description. But it tells you about quadrilaterals and parallelograms. And maybe you can take a screenshot of them or print them out for your notes so that you know all the different parts of these quadrilaterals. And if they have two pairs or one pair of parallel lines or if they have square corners or not. So we're going to end our lesson with a Venn diagram of quadrilaterals. So you can see there's quadrilaterals, trapezoids, parallelograms, rectangles, square, rhombus. So let's start in the very middle with the square. The square right here, because it's in this oval for the rectangles and for the rhombus, the square is a rectangle and a rhombus. And 
because it's also inside the oval for parallelograms, it's a parallelogram. And it's also inside the trapezoids. And it's also inside the quadrilaterals. So the square is a rectangle, a rhombus, a parallelogram, a trapezoid, and a quadrilateral. And we can see a rectangle is not a square, but a rectangle is a parallelogram, a trapezoid, and a quadrilateral. And a rhombus is a parallelogram, trapezoid, and quadrilateral. And we can see that parallelograms are also trapezoids and quadrilaterals. Trapezoids are quadrilaterals. And if you want, you can take a screenshot of this or try to draw a quick picture of this to help you for your notes. You need to be able to classify and tell these quadrilaterals apart from each other. So I hope you took good notes. Our next lesson is 10.5 and we're going to talk about line symmetry of figures. I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye.